An independent safety audit just confirms something that the industry does not want to admit. Nobody is in control of the Frontier AI systems. The Future of Life Institute evaluated eight leading AI companies. That evaluation extended across six governance and safety dimensions. Not one passed existential safety planning. Every single company pushing towards superintelligence earned a D or an F for catastrophic risk control. That means there's no demonstrated plan to stop misuse or model loss of control at scale. This is happening while harms from current models are stacking up. Reports link AI chatbots to suicide, self-harm, and psychosis. AI-assisted hacking is increased. These systems already influence millions of users and critical information flows. If companies cannot manage today's risks, they cannot claim they're going to be able to control tomorrow's more powerful systems. The EU's new proposal makes the picture worse. High risk enforcement is delayed until late 2027. Companies are allowed to train on sensitive data, including biometrics, under weaker consent rules. Digital rights groups say that this rollback benefits big tech and undermines user safeguards. That means less accountability at the exact moment that more accountability is needed. Cohere's CEO says that trust in governance are the reason the U.S. and Canada lead in the AI race. But trust cannot be claimed. It must be demonstrated through transparency, safety evidence, and real oversight. Right now, the evidence is pointing in the other direction. If you want lawful self-custody, technological independence, and real digital sovereignty, stay with this channel. Follow for daily insight into the systems that are shaping your future. Because the truth is simple, nobody is in control of the frontier AI systems.